Hello, my friends. My name is Irvin, also known as Kobuman. As you can tell by the video title and the thumbnail, today I will be talking about how to install operating system on 100 computers. And this idea comes from my article that is titled Top 10 Hard Desktop Support Interview Questions and Answers. If you're interested in reading this, there is a link at the end of the video to this article. If you watched my previous videos, I went through the first three questions and kind of uh, went and explained what they are about and provided some examples, which I will certainly try to do as well in the number four, which is the question we are up to in my video series, if you will. So when it comes to the way I explain things, I usually do it in four part answer, which consists of first thing I would do, second thing I would do, third thing I would do, and then last thing that I would do. The reason for that is related to the fact that you might be receiving this type of question when you interview for a job. So you want your potential employer to know that you are able to properly perform this type of a process or being able to resolve this type of issue. And it tells them also that you, the way you think is the proper way to go about it and also tells them that you're very knowledgeable. So uh, this is a good way to kind of practice that. All right, so let's get to it. Number four, what is the best way to install operating system on 100 computers manually? Meaning you don't have an option to boot over the network or any odd automated system available. So typically in a large business, everything's automated. If you were to receive 100 computers, you can just connect them to the network. You would get host names for them and you would assign them you know, which operating system to install, which programs need to be installed as well, and everything would just be done automatically. You just kind of sit back and relax and everything's done. This is why this is a difficult question. And this is how I would go about it. First, I would make sure that all computers are connected to the network and turned on. And that will tie in a little bit later here. I'll explain that. Of course, if these are new computers and I have an option to image them before deploying, I would try to keep them in the same area for easy access. So since I don't have an option of automation, I would make sure that these computers are kind of gathered together in, in uh, preferably in, in the same room. I would connect them together, power them on and everything like that. So that way they are uh, there for easy access for me to, you know, schedule a lot or, or start to re-image process on a lot of them. That's the point of that. Second, I would acquire host names for each machine so they can be added to the domain. This is why I was saying, first, I would make sure that all computers are connected to the network and turned on so that afterwards I would acquire host names for each machine so they could be added to the domain. And for this to happen properly, all the computers need to be connected to the network and turned on. So this can be assigned through Active Directory, also known as the main controller. So you would go inside of the Active Directory and you would create 100 computer names, also known as the host names, and then you would assign them accordingly to all of these computers that are being re-imaged. And uh, with, it, with them being connected to the network, makes it an easy process. Okay. Third, because booting over the network does not work, I would create multiple OS installed medias to use, CD or USB. So this kind of goes back to my trying to keep them in the same area for easy access. And that's exactly why. So that I can use install media on them. Um, afterwards, I would manually boot to inserted media and execute OS imaging process. You see how everything kind of ties, ties in. The way I would do things, it's kind of systematical and everything kind of goes back to itself this is a great way to tell your potential employer that you have a really good way of thinking on how to resolve these big issues. Because, you know, trying to install operating system on 100 computers and doing it in a, an acceptable time frame, you got to know what you're doing and have a good plan. You know what I mean? 
So lastly, upon image, and image completion, I would ensure that each computer has host names attached and is added to the domain or a work group. Work group um, usually is used you know, in a small type of business. So I wouldn't necessarily worry about that if you're interviewing at a big company, but you know, you gotta make sure that is added to the domain and host name attached, meaning that associated with each computer. In addition, I would install any software required per department templates or requests. And that kind of goes back to the part of automation that I mentioned earlier that normally happens is you select the type of software that you need and it would install it automatically. In this case, you would have to do it manually, install any software required per department templates or requests. So if somebody needs Microsoft Office professionally installed, this is what we would have to do manually for each computer. And, um, you know, you would have to kind of get that information to make sure you don't spend too much time installing stuff um, on, that's unnecessary stuff, you know what I mean? Because you don't necessarily have to install the same program on all of these computers. Because who knows? doesn't mean that all these computers are going to the same department, so they may have a different templates that you would use and go buy. All right, guys, I hope you find this video useful. Uh, unfortunately, in number four question here, I, there was really nothing for me to show inside the computer. But if you take a look at my previous three videos that I made uh, in regards to in relation to this article that I wrote, you can see that I provided some uh, computer examples um, so you guys can also learn from that. There will be a link at the end of this video. Uh, there will be icons or... Uh, thumbnails at the end of this video as I am speaking right now. I hope you guys like this video. Please share it with your buddies. Let me know what you think. If you have any questions, I'll gladly answer them. And you have a wonderful day. Okay, make sure you have a wonderful day because I really want you to have a wonderful day. All right, guys. Bye-bye.